it comes down to answering the recipient's question, what's in it for me. So if I was to pitch you, I would have to figure out how would Sarah answer this question? <laughs> how can I help her answer this question? And a lot of times it has to do with what's the win for the partner. A lot of times it doesn't have to come down to audience size if you're pitching someone. A lot of times I don't find that audience size kind of factors in unless you're doing like a list swap. I agree. I don't care about it either unless it's a newsletter thing. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's specific to that. Or if you're like swapping Instagram or something like that, you kind of want to match up audience size. Otherwise it's unbalanced. But outside of that, they don't really care about your audience size. So I want to address that right away because I know that people are thinking that you have to really figure out like, what's the win? Why should they care about what you're pitching? And that usually relates to why does their audience potentially care about what you're pitching? And so if you can answer that in your email, that's a really strong, strong way. I'm curious, why do you say yes to pitches that you get? Usually our audiences align. Okay. And... I just like them. Like usually it's people that I just vibe with. <laughs> Do you vibe with them like immediately? Like even if they're a stranger or how do they yeah, get that vibe I mean, going? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I okay. end up partnering with a lot of strangers, people that I haven't met before. And it's because, well, they pitched me and then I started following them on social. I'm like, mm -hmm. I kind of like their vibe. I'm okay. into that. And the topic would be really interesting to my audience. And it's maybe something that I'm not an expert on. I really love saying yes to those partnerships. Gotcha. 